Hello, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a monster vision in Adobe After Effects. It's really simple to create, um, but we used that in our short film and some people were wondering how we did it. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download the footage in the description so you have the same footage as I do and I will right click and import that file. Import it in After Effects and just drag it immediately in a new composition and there we have it. We have some footage from in the bushes watching what I'm doing here so um, I will right click new and add a new adjustment layer and there I will add a few things to so I will go to effect distort and add a bulge effect and you're going to see some buttons well on the edges of that circle and if you drag them out you can actually make it as large as you want it to be something like this so it covers the whole canvas and then I will also click pin all edges so you're sure that all the edges are actually okay um, then I'm going to lower this to something like minus 0.5 and this is going to make it like it's, it has a bigger field of view so uh, changing that up a little bit. Then I will right click new and add a new adjustment layer and here I will add an ellipse tool so double click on the ellipse tool here and then I will uh, see that I added a mask here I will subtract that so uh, now it's not going to be additive if we click on the adjustment layer effect color correction curves we can drag down our curve so it becomes darker on the edges now we're going to press F on the keyboard to feather our mask right here I'm going to increase that like so and now we have some darkening edges uh, which looks a little bit more focused towards the middle here uh, towards the center and then we can also go and affect um, blur and sharpen and maybe add like a CC uh, radial fast blur. And then we can just increase this to something like 50, which uh, seems about right. Um, but also just on the edges and that's going to um, blur it like there is a lot of motion going on on these edges. On the first adjustment layer, I'm going to add another color correction tag curves. And here I'm going to add some contrast in. So I'm going to lower my shadows and brighten up my highlights. And then I will go into the red channel, increase it a little bit in the highs and decrease it um, by much um, in the shadows right here. So we get these green shadows, um, increase the shadows here as well. Play a little bit, so maybe decrease um, the greens and keep it blue. For the blue channel, we're going to increase uh, just the shadows. Okay, go back to the red, and I think it's a little bit too much in the highlights here, something like this. And also, I think it's a little bit too much blue here in the highlights. But now we get something like this, uh, which looks a lot better and like a lot more monster-like. Uh, so that looks okay. And then go to effect stylize, and you can, you can add some glow if you want to, uh, to like, overexpose the highlights right here so if we increase the threshold and just increase uh, the radius here and also increase the intensity we would get some things like this uh, could work if you're uh, trying to do something like this um, could get you a nice effect uh, like so you can also go in the original colors and changes to A and B color and just change the color here to something uh, completely different and then just increase the intensity to whatever you want it to be. And the red really uh, kind of makes it like it's a monster. So I'm going to decrease the threshold a little bit more. And this could work. You can play around with these colors. maybe keep it as simple as this and now your highlights are just going to be like uh, this red glow and it's just going to add up a little bit more then you can also go to effect sharpen and add an unsharp mask and here we can uh, set this to 150 so it's going to sharpen everything a lot better it's going to be more defined and if we duplicate our unsharp mask by going to edit duplicate we can set our radius to something like 25 and that's going to make it pop a little bit more and of course this is way too intense so I'm going to lower my amount to something like 25 but if we uncheck that uh, you're going to see that and it, it, that's a little bit of a popping effect uh, which looks quite cool 
Now we can also lastly add uh, a color correction tag tint and that's going to make it black and white of course lower the amount of the tint so it becomes something like this here something like 25 and that's going to make it uh, look a little bit better as well. If you go back to uh, our first, well, our second uh, adjustment layer that we made, but it's on top here. Um, it's then subtracted with a feather of 500. And if we press M twice on the keyboard, and do it again, um, we can lower our expansion. So it's going to affect more of the edges. And if we do that, it's going to become darker here. So uh, adds up a little bit better as well. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. Uh, what I what I also did is actually add some wiggle to my camera. So add a new adjustment layer and rename it to camera shake. And all I've done is used the wiggle preset that you can actually download at our website for, uh, for free. So it's at the freebies page. Uh, a link will be in the description. But if we add this wiggle preset um, and we just like uh, put the frequency to something like two and the uh, amplitude to something like five, it's going to be wiggling a little bit and that's going to add a little bit more motion to my scene and more camera shake like it's actually a monster that um, yeah, he's breathing and if you're breathing you have a lot of movement in your head so uh, adding movement to your camera is really going to sell the effect um, that it's actually someone watching instead of um, being in camera position. And it's up to you, so you can go crazy with these amounts if you want to uh, add a lot of shake. Um, but yeah, I think this already looks pretty nice. Uh, play around with these settings. This is how I've created my monster vision. Uh, you can also play around with one of these settings. Uh, if you go back to the original adjustment layer and go to effect, color correction, colorama, you can do some really cool stuff with this as well. Like uh, you can see right here, uh, it's also like a, um, a special view. You can go and go in negative. That's going to give you an effect like this. Uh, really cool for security cams. And this looks like it's actually an infrared camera. So that's also a really cool trick to apply to your footage if you want something like that. What you can also do is just go to your monster vision and duplicate that video by edit duplicate and then apply the colorama effect and then just pick something out of the input cycle right here. And uh, just pick something that looks fi uh, fancy like fire and smoke and then go to toggle switches and go in one of the modes and then just hold shift and press the plus sign to toggle between them and then you can really go in them and see uh, each different result. Most of the times it's just playing around until you see something that you actually like, so. Like soft light, and uh, it gives me a pretty cool effect. If I press T on the keyboard, I can lower the opacity and you will get some uh, really cool effects, maybe something like 50. And this is really like a monster vision, uh, to be honest. So, so yeah, that's basically how to create a monster vision. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.